Hello guys, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue looking at the 2016 October-November uh, IGCSE ICT Paper 2. In the last video, we ended on step number 22 and in this video, we're going to continue with step number 23, which is importing the file n216rates.csv as a new table into our database. So we're going to make sure that the annual fee is formatted as currency and also the member are called field as a primary key and also create a one-to-many relationship between member called field in the rates table and type field in the members table. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So open access, go to create and uh, rather import text file and browse to um, wherever your files are located mine are located on the desktop in paper 2 and we are importing the rates table okay so you guys at this stage go ahead and do the normal way of importing your uh, your CSV file into your access uh, database so go to advanced I don't know if we need to change any of the fields we don't need to change any data type. We've not been told to uh, change any data type except that the annual fee should be formatted as currency. So go back here and next and then annual fee. Um, annual fee should be formatted as, as currency and it is as currency. So just say OK and um, choose your primary um, key which is supposed to be um, member code or mem code supposed to be a primary key which is this one okay so other than that there's nothing much that we need to change here um, we can go ahead and create a relationship um, with this table so now that we have the two tables imported into our um, our database then we're going to create a relationship with these two days. so go to database tools and then click on relationships and then you see that you have these two tables um, in there. Now, for some of you, you you may get the screen where you need to select the tables that you need for you to create um, the relationship. So we were told that the member code should be linked to the type um, field. Okay, so this one here, create a one-to-many relationship between member code um, in the rates table. Uh, it should be linked to the type field in the member table. So what you need to do is to just drag on the primary key in the red table and drag it and drop it on the foreign key. This is supposed to be the foreign key in um, the member table. And enforce your referential integrity and also create. Okay, So you should have something like a one to many. This infinite sign symbol or symbol here rather means that... Uh, uh, this is supposed to be many okay so this is a one to many relationship okay so um yeah so the next thing we're supposed to do is to take our, uh, a screenshot showing the relationship between the two tables so just um, take a uh, screenshot to show this relationship again uh, some of you have been asking me what software i use to get uh, screenshots uh, you can download a software called lightshot just google it and then you can download it and use it there are a number of videos um, on youtube that you can watch if you want to learn how to use it so let's go ahead and uh, copy then we're going to go into our uh, into our for work area and get the evidence document so that's our evidence document and again we're going to paste our screenshot now for some reason my evidence document was never saved last time that i used um, this computer um, so some screenshots they are not there but this is that uh, this doesn't matter um, if you want to check the other screenshots you can check the other videos before this one so you'll be able to to see that okay so um we are taking evidence number seven so paste it just right there okay next we're supposed to look at step number 24 a five percent penalty charge is added to a late payment of fees 
using fields from both tables produce a report which and then these are the properties that this report should have um, all the way to down here now I'm not going to go through each one of them just now but we'll look at each one of them as we work on it okay um, so the other thing that I wanted to point out um, you see many of my videos um, when we're given such a question I usually like to break this part into two um, we have to create a query which is going to extract the required data um, something like this one and then you create a report which is going to show this other remaining part okay so let's go ahead and extract the data and I love first of all to extract first of all when we create this query to start with these fields um, that are required to be displayed in a particular order okay so let's go ahead and so close this relationship it's already created um, if you want to verify that go back to relationship and you will see that it is already created okay so I'm going to go down here and create and create a query it's gonna be a simple query but um, it will involve a list of these items that we um, are supposed to be arranged in this particular order okay so the items are supposed to be member number um, title first name last name fees due debt joint member type annual fee and late payment in this order note that late payment is actually a calculated field okay it is shown here it is actually a calculated field that means that late payment is going to be created inside the query okay so let's go ahead and create this one so um, the first field is supposed to be member number so just double click on it and then the next field is supposed to be title double click on it and then the next field is supposed to be first name then last name and then fees due then you can also put debt joint and member type so change the tables remember this is a relational database so change the table member type is here and then annual fee and lastly it's supposed to be late payment now late payment is supposed to be a calculated field so we'll change it in the query design okay so modify your query I'm gonna name this one as step number 24 just to to be sure so step query step 24 and finish it so go um, have a look at this okay so the next field that we're supposed to create uh, or the only field they're supposed to create is the late payment field this one here okay and how it is calculated is that um, um, it is a multiplication of um, the annual fee by 1.05 so let's go ahead and do that so the, f uh, the field is called late payment so just type late payment now you need to type it as it is where there is capital you need to put capital then put full colony and then square bracket um, the square bracket actually means that you are trying to access a field okay or a column if you want or the values contained in a column so the one we are accessing is annual fee so it's supposed to be annual fee and it's also capital take note of that then multiplied by and then check the value that is supposed to multiply by it's 1.05 1.05 with this run the query and you should see that you should have new values for this part now the other thing that you should also uh, take note of is that we're told that we need to indicate that um, these values are supposed to be displayed in with a pound symbol and they're supposed to carry two decimal places so go back to uh, your design um, and then under late payment go to properties then under format select currency and select two decimal places then go ahead and run the query again and you should see we have consistent uh, consistent current symbols and we should have two decimal places okay so that should be fine um, next go back to design view now we are going to uh, look at the criteria that we were given it is only supposed to show records uh, where the debt joint is um, 0101 2015 or later so let's go ahead and put this debt 
so um, come back here get joint is supposed to be here so it's supposed to be greater or equal to so verify that it's supposed to be um, dead joint is exactly this one or later which means greater or equal to uh, 1st January 2015 so greater or equal to then 01 hash uh, rather forward slash 01 forward slash 2015 and click away and you see that um, um, access automatically puts this debt or encloses it into um, between hashtags and um, this is what is supposed to happen okay so run the query again and you should see that uh, all debts listed now are 2015 or higher okay so uh, go back to design view and go back to the question paper this time now we're supposed to put a uh, fees due as yes okay so fees due is supposed to be yes okay fees due yes so let's go back here fees due put yes okay so run the query again and you should find under fees due you should see only yes okay um so next go back to design view again um design view and go to your question paper and the other type is supposed to be type is supposed to include does not include te okay type should not include te so come back here now we don't have type here um we don't have type field so what you need to do is to look at this table and find out which table contains type so the table that contains type is members table and you see that type is here and they're saying that type if you scroll down it should not contain te let's find out where te is te is this one so type should not contain any value to do with te okay so go back to this um and then go to design view and um, you need to go to members table now under members table you need to find a field called type so it will be members dot type okay so we cannot see fully the fields here but um this is type this is the only field that has got type okay so that there you go type and um it should not include te so you will say not te okay if you wanted it to have te it sh should have just typed te okay but in this case it should be not te it can also work if you put not um, and then enclose te in um, in um, two asterisk signs or between two asterisk signs but that would mean that um, anything that has te in it whether it's a word um, it will be eliminated okay so you don't want to do that at this stage right so let's go back um, to the question uh, to run the query run it again and you should see that um, it should eliminate anything to do with te okay anything to do with te should be eliminated now let's go um, back to here now type is not a query or it's not a field that should be shown among the fields here so we should disable that um, here we just used it to um, um, we just used it as part of the query in order to extract um, items or data that does not have um, anything to do with te so go ahead under show and check this one okay so just verify that your fields are actually in the order that they are appearing in the question paper it's very important um, because access sometimes has got a tendency of rearranging these fields <laughs> okay so uh, every now and then you need to check that uh, you have the fields um, um, arranged in the order of the questions so um, let's go back to the question paper so we are done with all these items that can be done in the query what we need to do now is to go ahead and um, work with the items that needs to be done in the report so let's go back to access save our query and go to create this time we are creating a with um, a, I mean a report so use report wizard and you're going to import um, the query that has to do with step 24 that's the one we created here so just import everything in this query um, the next and then next again next at this stage now you're going to 
um, select the order of the fields. So come back here into a question paper and then we need to sort first of all into ascending order of member type. So let's go do that. Sort in ascending order of member type. Where is member type? Um, did we skip one? Okay, we didn't skip. I thought we skipped it. Okay, member type. And then we sort in descending order. Um, so member type and then again into ascending order, not descending order, but ascending order of last name. So come back here and sort it into ascending order of last name. And go to next. But verify that you have you are sorting the correct fields. Okay. So go to next and then I'll leave it into tabular uh, form. But um, let's look at the orientation. Um, the orientation is supposed to be, um, it should fit on a single page wide, yeah. And then it should have a page orientation of landscape. So change to landscape, but adjust the field width so that all fields fit on a single page, okay. So leave this one checked. The next, and then modify. Now on top here you see says what title do you want to give your report? So highlight this and go to where the title is supposed to be. So this is the title, overdue membership fees. Right click and copy. And then I'm going to paste the title here. Just control V on your keyboard and finish. Okay, so there you go with um, the names of the fields. Now what you notice automatically here is that Access has actually rearranged these fields and they are no longer in the order in which we put them in um, in um, in the query. Now this is very uh, this is very important for you to detect. Otherwise, if you run this one, you see that the first um, field is actually member type. Okay, but in your um, the fields that are supposed to show, they are supposed to show. In this order, what's the order? First is supposed to be member number, then title, first name, last name, fees due, and so on. So there's need for us to swap these fields in the design mode um, so that these fields are arranged in that order. So what I'm going to do is just change this. Okay. So we need member number to be the one that is the first one. So I'm going to get this one and drop it just at the first there and get this one and swap it put it somewhere out there so now we need to sort these fields in this order so first is member number then title so get title and put it there the next is supposed to be um first name last name fees due so f um first name last name fees due then get this just create um just put it there. Then we have first name. Uh, we put it here. Just resize it. Then we have last name. Oops. Okay. So last name, just select away from this one. Get this one and this one. Resize it and put it there. Then we have fees due, which is this one here. Enlarge it and then put it just there. Then we need, after fees due, we need debt joint, member type, and annual fee. Debt joint, which is this one, enlarge it as well. So it's supposed to be debt joint. Then let's create some space, move this one away. Debt joint, put it there. So just enlarge it a little bit. And um, have, um, after debt joint, member type, which is the one which is already there and close this property sheet and then get next annual fee i think let's just verify that next is supposed to be um, annual fee and then late payment okay so annual fee and then late payment okay so what you need to do now is to check that um, this report just go back here check that all the fields are actually displayed that um, the titles or the labels are fully visible. There's nothing that has been cut, okay? And um, that looks uh, good, okay? So let's go back to design view. So the, 
okay so this is design view and um, so how much time have I used recording this video okay that's about 20 minutes okay okay let's just try to make it under 30 minutes or so or about 30 minutes um, so the next thing that we we are supposed to do is to so we have rearranged the fields in the order here and let's just verify that the sorting has actually taken place in the order of member type first and then ascending order of last name okay so we need just to verify this one so member type first ascending order of member type and then ascending order of last name so let's go back here and then preview this okay um so when you preview this one it's supposed to the first record um under member type where is member type is here it's supposed to be add out okay so sort add out and then the last record is supposed to be young adult okay that should be the last record young adult so it's from a to y that is ascending order and then also take note of the last name um, the first name uh, under last is supposed to be um, uh, member type is a then you have a b so it's a b I mean B A, <laughs> yeah. So Baker becomes the first person, and um, the last person is supposed to be, yeah, W. Um, should be the last one we should have. Okay, what is um, okay. So um, how you can know is first of all, if you have all these fields, um, rather if you have um, the member type field sorted out properly, um, you should be able to note that these will be arranged in alphabetical order but then these ones again will be arranged in alphabetical order for every instance of member type for example the instance adult you should have these fields from Becker to summers arranged in alphabetical order from junior every instance where junior is all the fields under last name will be arranged in alphabetical order and that's how you can know that actually your fields are properly arranged okay i hope that is clear if you didn't understand uh, take back the video and um, watch again and then okay so so we're done with this one we're done with this one and we are done with this one we just need to do the three more steps we need to put a field um, which is going to calculate the total annual fees for this selection and it's going to position this under the annual fees column and it should have a label to the left of this number and it should have read something like total fees okay so what we're going to do is to put um go back to uh, design view for this report now i don't need these two fields under the page footer i don't need them so in the report footer so I'm going to close the page footer and create space for the report footer and I'll put um, this text box and we're just going to align it like that. So this is the label. So the label is supposed to be total fees due. So I'm just going to copy this and it's supposed to be pasted there, total fees due. And um, let's go back there and now let's go to the calculated field. Annual fee is supposed to be um, the total annual fee okay so let's go, come back here so this is the annual fee so to find the total annual fee you need to put equal to and then sum and then um, the open and clo uh, close parentheses and then you need to put square brackets inside the parentheses because you are trying now to access um, you're trying to access um, a calculated field now what I suggest is that um, you just go inside this field double click and copy this name as it is or just highlight this name as it is because most of the mistakes that you are going to make is when the name for this field is different from the name that you are going to put inside this field then you are going to get something like missing parameters and stuff like that because you are using a name that is different from the actual field name so go back and run this and you should see at the bottom here you're going to have um, the calculated field uh, visible there okay so you see uh, the value uh, 9864.5 again we're told that we need to format every currency to uh, the pound 
and it should be formatted to two decimal places so go ahead and let's do the formatting so um, select it and go to properties okay so I'm already on the property sheet on the under decimal places select two and under format select currency okay run it one more time and you should see that it will pick up um, the pound symbol and it will pick up the currency as it is okay so that should be it um, and it's just directly below this one so that should be fine go back to design view um, so one more thing that we're supposed to do we're supposed to include um, the name center number and cut the number at the bottom of the report so come back here let's get a label and let's put um, Chikasa Evans um, ZM556 and 0001 okay so that is it um, next so we are done with all the steps here um, like I said the order in which you do these steps doesn't really matter you should find out what works for you um, I find it very easy to go uh, with the query first and then to go with the sorting and then to go with um, the title then you go with the um, the calculated fields and then the last part as the last part okay so it's practically easy to work that way now the next thing we're supposed to do is to make some printouts so save and print your report so make sure that you have entered your name center number and candidate number on your report okay we just did that in this step then place in the evidence document a screenshot showing the selection criteria that you used okay so the selection criteria is the one that is coming from the query so go to the query go to design view of the query and get um, the selection criteria for the query now the selection criteria was um, now there's some distance here so what I'm going to do is to get this field here okay drag it and drop it here okay so that at least um, these fields they are close because the criteria is just the three of them yes the date and not a so it was quite fast so I'm just going to copy this okay just up to here and copy it and paste it um, in the um, so there is a selection criteria paste it there and then go back here um, that's evidence 8 then evidence 9 place in your evidence document screenshot showing the formula used to calculate the total value for annual fees so go to this design view now and um, not uh, take it to design view and get the formula here okay so just get this and this is the formula okay you don't need to show the top part maybe just this part it's important okay so come back to this one and paste it here okay so um, then we are done with evidence 9 and that should give you the first part of your 12 marks for uh, your database reports and um, I'm gonna end here with this report uh, rather with this um, uh, video and in the next video we'll pick up from this haha ha, now Bible preaching <laughs> somebody's picking up uh, from verse 25 instead of step 25 <laughs> All right, so I'll see you in the next video in a short while when we pick up from 20, step 25, okay. <laughs>